tonight on Glam God. Your hot trend challenge this week is we're going to give you one signature piece from the past. Holy <laughs> Nothing is looking pretty in that closet. I mean, this is the ugliest closet I've ever seen. Fit is one of the most important things when Stancil and you couldn't feel comfortable with that pant riding up your crack. As a team, I did the dress and you did the accessorizing. Um, actually, no. You dog, you're not worthy of being in this competition. I wasn't on the show, I knocked the out of you because you are a liar, dog. I just can't believe like I'm in this situation. You deserve to go home. Oh gosh. Mom. I have to make a decision and I the hardest decision I've ever had to make. Day. Joaquin was eliminated last night. There's seven people in the house. This is a competition again, and I'm keeping that in mind. After what happened in the last challenge, that I was like almost going home, I feel that I need to like push myself and show people that I got talent and what I can do. So I definitely need to win the next challenge. Breathe out, come through your arms into Cobra. Jess offers to teach me yoga, which um, I, I love. I'm down to try anything new. Take a deep breath in, let it out. I'm just really starting to get attracted to her and her personality and her spirit. And um, I think there's a chemistry there. You guys, there's a note. Note from Vivica. Hola, stylist. Hola. Hola. I will be there soon to announce your hot trend challenge, and it's in capital letters. This challenge is a team challenge. However, one of you will be competing on your own. Oh! oh my God! Oh my God. It will be up to all of you to decide who will be working solo. Bo has been asked to shine 10,000 times. I would prefer to. I've been in the bottom more than once now. To the judges, I'm just kind of coasting through. I've got to man up, and I've got to take charge this next time. The rest of you pair up. Pick a new person to work with this week. I'll be in the loft in 30 minutes. Woo! Wow. I, oh. I already worked with you. Who, so. have you not, who have you not worked <laughs> with, Hendry? Tiger Lily and Jess. I haven't worked with you. Tiger Lily. Yeah. And you need to work with him since I've already worked with him and I need to work with Tiger Lily. I ended up with Handry. I know that he's a hard worker and I know that he's great with tailoring, so I'm excited to have him on my team. You're right, Presley. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Preston. Preston, sorry. <gasps> Tiger Lily conveniently calls me Presley. I think that's just her way of being a little bit of a bitch. Presley. No, can I just call you Presley? It's so cute. I'm sorry, no, Preston. Fine, that's fine. Press. I was a little bit dismayed when I got Preston, to be honest. You know, Preston's pretty preppy, and I'm the other way, and I don't know if this is gonna work out at all. Chris, and you haven't worked with Indachio? No. Only option Chris uh, has is Indachio. Right. Great. I get stuck with freaking Carlton Bakes from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Fine. So that's how it we has to work out. We don't have a choice. Out. Okay. Subtle. Me too. Okay, let's talk. Right. She's back! Gather up, gather up! Hello, stylist. Hello. Hello. Now, stylist, this week we're going to have another team challenge, and I knew that we had an odd number this week. Who decided to be brave enough to work alone? It is I, Vivica. <laughs> Whoa, it is you, it is you. Yes, well, baby, that means you're probably going to have to work a little bit harder. Of course. But who knows, you may work better by yourself, okay? So your hot trend challenge this week is we're going to give you one signature piece from the past, and you are to take it forward to the future. It's time for me to show you what you're going to be working with. So, the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh my God. Coming up. Holy <laughs> Nothing is looking pretty in that closet. It's disgusting. I'm not finding a lot of things that could mesh well. I mean, this is the ugliest color I've ever seen. And later. Dog, you're a poor ass excuse for a 22 year old. You have no respect for anybody in this house. You deserve to go home. If I go home tonight, I will be devastated. I just can't believe like I'm in this situation right now. It's time.
time for me to show you what you're going to be working with. So, the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, God! They're really the most horrific items you have ever seen. I thought we were gonna get something fresh to work with. We ended up with some garbage. Oh, scary, God. scary, scary. Holy we see a pink shoulder padded blazer, a denim dress, these weird orange, like red gaucho pants, and then like a muumuu from like Golden Girls. And it, nothing is looking pretty in that closet. Everything looks nasty. Okay, stylist, are you ready to pick your one signature piece? Yes. 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 All right. Pantry and Jess, pick now. We want the pink jacket. You chose the Pink yes. Dynasty jacket, okay. I think we got the best piece to work with. Chris and Indashio. I want the flower oh. dress. Diana Ross's old performance outfit. Ah, the pink muumuu, okay. Chris actually chose the ugliest thing that he could have possibly chose. Bo. I'll, I'll take the, the I'll jacket. take the denim. The lovely blue Southern Belle <laughs> denim dress, <laughs> did you? That's just perfect for you, Boo Boo. All right. I right away connected with that denim, old timey Southern lady sitting in church. Tiger Lily and Preston, what did you guys pick? We'll take the gaucho. All right, all right. We knew immediately that we wanted a separate item so we can mix and match. Well, that's the first part. The second part is we want you to take that one signature piece and take it from daytime to nighttime. You'll be judged on how well you reinvent your look, how well you bring it back so that the world takes notice, okay? We have to style a daytime look and a nighttime look. I think this is gonna be a really tough challenge. You will have until tomorrow morning to style both looks. Your models will be arriving in the morning. In the meantime, I want to give you their comp card so that you guys can see what you're working with. You guys are working with Holly, Jasmine, Lisa, and last but not least, Celeste. Stylus, one more thing. It's very important that you keep the original integrity of your piece. All right, Stylus, the next time you will be seeing me will be at the red carpet eliminations. So get to styling. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Rebecca. Rebecca. We are just ripping through this blue fly closet. We're just pulling everything we can pull. Oh, God, they're so weird. The main goal of this challenge is to take the vintage piece and style it so well that the whole world will notice it as like a big trend. But the key is we still have to keep the integrity of the piece. I mean, I'd like to make them short, but then that defeats the purpose. Yeah, you're not gonna see the gaucho effect, and she says that we have to keep it. Uh, this boxy look is Chanel, 100%. Mm. With our look, Handry and I had a very clear vision. We definitely wanted to do a Chanel look, and Chanel is known for boxy jackets. So you do your thing with this, if you feel like. Oh, I think. Working with the jacket, I decided to keep the shoulder pads in and taking the jacket a little bit from the size 10 to the size 4. I think, yeah, we are doing good. Mm -hmm. This was actually my chance to take this and turn it into something like Shania Twain would wear. Just very chic and elegant and southern at the same time. Can this just be a top? Of course it could just be a top, there's no doubt. I'm looking at these gauchos and we are going Sex in the City, Carrie Bradshaw, Fifth Avenue look. Shape-wise, I think we can work wonders with it, but the color's really throwing me off. Oh no, it's so gross, yeah, we gotta yeah, take yeah, it yeah, off. Yeah. Immediately I'm thinking that the print is so large that we have to consider proportion and make it a dress that's really form-fitting because it's easy to get lost in a flowy, billowy dress. So ugly, the dress is just <laughs> ugly. <laughs> Um, I think we can belt it, add some black fabric or something here. The more he's explaining his vision and the more depressed I'm getting. Maybe if you want to take responsibility for the dress and then I'll take responsibility for the styling. I immediately was thinking Nicole Richie. Chris, on the other hand, had a different vision. We both had different styles. We weren't really seeing eye to eye. So I'm just letting him roll with it, you know? And if it's up, it's his up, not mine. Why are they all the ugly shoes size 10? <laughs> As I'm in the blue fly closet, I see this Betsy Johnson dress that would be perfect as a corset or a top. I don't generally like to go with corsets, but mm -hmm. do you think... If we take this off? Yeah, and just... And you like... Just like it kind of matches, but... Yeah. I like that idea. I just know with this, we're safe because we pin, so we know it's gonna fit. I just don't want to get here and we can't get it on her. Not inspired, really. I like to get inspired. Chris was not inspiring me. 
feeling like Anyone know what time it is, people? Love bugs. <laughs> you stink so bad. Flirting with Jess is fun. I want nothing more than to just. I really am attracted to Nandashio. We're able to connect on a level that's not all game, so it's nice to have companionship. Jess and Nandashio, weird little flirtatious thingy. I don't know if they're like really interested in each other or if they're just bored as hell. Oh my God, what time is it? I designed a dress last night. Like for the first time in my life, I'm proud of myself. You think one people and two people are going home tonight? I think it's two, sweetie. I'm very sad about it. I'm not opposed I love to you. All. I don't care. <laughs> I know I'm not going home, so. All right. I'm in this to win this. I'm in a little better spirits than yesterday, so I've, I know it's. I have to step up to the plate. You know, there's a lot at stake here. What's up, Philip? Oh, hi, Philip. Good morning, my star stylist. Hello. Hello. Celebrity stylists are known for taking history to make history. Now this week's Hot Trend Challenge is all about taking one vintage piece and taking it from day to evening. That's gonna be two looks, a day look and an evening. Remember, stylist, you must keep the integrity of the piece that you've been given to work with. If it was a jacket, it must stay a jacket. If it's a long flowy dress, it must stay a long flowy dress. Keep the integrity. This is so significant. If you don't keep the integrity, you've lost the challenge. You will have one hour to style each look. Now, as on every challenge, you had the opportunity to go into the blue fly closet to find your accessories and spice up your looks. And you'll also have the professionals from Charles Worthington London to help with hair and the Stila cosmetic experts to help you do the makeup looks. You have two hours to deliver two looks. Time will stop when your models go to the step and repeat. Ready, get set, start styling now. It's high, but I wanted it there, right, you know? Yeah. My vision was to be just absolutely gorgeous and glamorous at the same time and sophisticated. How you doing, Bo? I'm doing good, how are you? Working on your own, what's your prime piece you well, started with? this is, I turned this dress into something completely different. I gotta get it proportion right. I gotta, I gotta do some pinning. And didn't I have a key word in this challenge? Proportion, proportion, proportion. Did I say the word proportion? No. I don't think I did. You might want to think about what that key word was. Okay. I'm like, oh crap. Okay, well obviously I'm doing something wrong. Like, I already knew the proportion was wrong, so now I'm doing something else wrong. Coming up. Well, I just want the dress to kind of speak for itself. Okay. I've got to get this dress to look great. I mean, this is huge for me. Good luck, keep working. You've got very little time. And later. I wasn't on the show, I knocked the out of you because you are a liar, dog. I just can't believe like I'm in this situation. You deserve to go home. I gotta get it proportion right. I gotta, I gotta do some pinning. And didn't I have a key word in this challenge? Proportion, proportion, proportion. Did I say the word proportion? No. I don't think I did. You might want to think about what that key word was. Okay. Obviously, proportion was not the word he was looking for. So I'm doing something wrong, but I've really got to stay focused on this challenge. We're doing a lovely look with you today. We're doing Chanel 1920s with finger curls. Oh. And all, all pearls. I chose some gold and pearl jewelry mixed together because we want to make it modern. This is the main piece that we have to work with. We decided to take it in, in the size same a little bit so you know, to make it more fitted, but we don't want it to lose the like kind of like boxy look of the jacket. So we decided to keep the shoulder pads and to you know bring a little bit the Chanel look from the 20s more back to our time. Retro vibe. Uh, yeah. We're gonna Thank be you. hats. That looks really cute. The daytime look that we've planned is sort of like Sex in a City. And the scraps that I've cut from the gaucho, I've gone ahead and made a flower out of it. 
I think it's going to go well together. I think people are going to be impressed. So what did you have here? What was the original piece? Uh, Moo Moo. We had a long, <laughs> fugly Moo Moo. With big crazy, bell sleeves. It looked like a performance sleeves. outfit from the, from the 70s. Because the pattern was so large, we wanted to make it very form-fitting so that you didn't lose the girl in all of that pattern. It was actually Chris's idea for the shape of the right. dress. So Philip comes over to look at our day look, and he's acting funny. And he's looking at it like this. And it's making me a little worried. We definitely bounced ideas off of one okay. another. I mean, teamwork. It's all about teamwork. Exactly. You know, I've, we, I've, I've learned nothing. I've learned that. I've all, and we are really grabbing from the past 1926 all Chanel. Our hair and makeup plan is an updated finger wave. So we really have a nice finger wave pin curl going through her hair. What direction have you given here? So what we're doing is heavy on the pearls to keep the integrity of 1920s Chanel. Everything is inspired by Chanel. OK. So maybe like a smoky okay. eye, okay. but with like silverish tones, like cool like tones. Yeah, make her cheek kind of pop so that she gets some color in there. All right, mm -hmm. no problem. So we want her to look very pretty, very um, pinky. Overall theme for hair and makeup, daytime we just want to keep really fresh. So we're going to do a whole pink vibe with the makeup and kind of a light eye, nude lip and skin. We want our eye to be the focus. Okay. Um, we plan on doing very simple hair. Gorgeous. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We okay, can cool. That. Okay. I love it. So Chris and Indasha, what do What's you got up? going on? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> this is a mess. Clean up this mess. Look at that. That is a mess. I was kind of embarrassed. Philip just goes off on me. I'm just like stunned. How you work like that? Two minutes. All right, stylist, your time is up. Please stop working and bring your day look to the red carpet. Good. I would say that our model looks super duper bad. She was dope, she had swag, and she really, really pulled off the look on the red carpet. We are really confident with the look. I think she looks fabulous, and I think we did a great job. Yeah, good. I'm really happy with my look, you know, I think I brought something different to the table, but at the same time, I kept the integrity of the gaucho. Good, give me a big smile, yes. To kind of make the entire outfit pop, I threw on these really cool red leather gloves and this red leather bag. I thought it really just made the outfit complete. I'm very, very impressed with myself. Okay, well, everybody completed their day look. Now it's time to slip these ladies into evening. Time is money, this is Hollywood. Get going. Thank you. Hi, Holly. Ready? Spectacularly, I'm gonna need you here. Yeah. For the night look, we're keeping the same gaucho pant as we're asked to. And we had this awesome Betsy Johnson dress that has a pink, blue, metallic, silver corset with a giant bow on it. So let's get you into makeup. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Super That's very like goddess. Pretty. We'll add a little pop to the hair by adding a headband just to make it a little bit different. So what are we doing here? We're taking Holly into nighttime. Yeah. We're gonna do sort of like bedroom eyes, very sexy to draw everybody in. Lashes for days. <laughs> What we did for the night look is we added more of a nightclub feel to it by adding gold shoes, gold belt, gold bangles, gold earrings. Fabulous. Can you give me these? For the nighttime look, I mean, you really got to see the shape of the dress. With the daytime look, she had on a blazer. So with the nighttime, you got to see the bell sleeve on the dress, and you got to see the trim around the neckline of the dress. You really got to see the dress in all of its glory. What do we have over here? Getting it ready for night. Basically, we took off the blazer, and we did the gold accessories. So very Miami, very gaudy. And what are you doing with the makeup and the hair? We're going to give her some lashes, a really um, dramatic eye, um, nude lip and um, we're gonna make her hair up sexy. Good, good job, guys. Thank you. So where are we going with this evening look? Well, I just want the dress to kind of speak for itself. The nighttime look is so amazing. I created a dress that was so outdated and made it modern. So you're trying to give this a 360 look, so basically coming or going, she's gonna look sexy. Right, there you go. Great, and what shoes are you thinking of for evening? Dark red with the dark red clutch. Okay. I've got to get this dress to look great. I mean, this is huge for me. Anyway, good luck, keep working. You've got very little time. So what are we doing here? 
So now we I'm gonna make him a little more fun for the night look. She's going to a fun party. Yeah. That's right. And she's also wearing a neon pink yeah. jacket and there ain't nothing serious about that. For her night look, what we're deciding to do is take off her top and jeans and put her in Chanel's little black dress. You look awesome. Two minutes. Don't rub it out too much. Yeah, yeah, we got this, we got this, boy. Yeah. I'm nervous about time. All right, stylist, your one hour is up. Now get ready and bring your evening looks to the step and repeat. Good, yeah. I feel awesome about our look. I, I, I have to say, I feel it's the strongest looking at everybody's. Can you see a little more, more shoulder, like, yes, good. Perfect. Everything was so perfect, the dress, the accessories, the, the clutch. I feel like it's a win. Yeah, great. I'm really happy with the night look. It looks a lot better than the day look, and um, I'm feeling good. 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 I was extremely impressed with what I did. I'm so happy. No matter what happens tonight, Bo did his thing. Philip is just so hard to read. You don't know if he likes it, if he hates it, if he's like, right. Ooh, why are you doing That's that? That's the point. What, what was he saying? Try to keep the integrity. 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 That's the word. Integrity. Of integrity. Do you feel you did, Bo? Oh yeah. I mean, it's the same dress, just a different style. To me, keeping the integrity of the dress is keeping the fabric of the dress and reinventing it. And I did that. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be really, really tough, you guys, this one. Coming up. Fit is one of the most important things when styling. You couldn't feel comfortable with that pant riding up your crack. As a team, I did the dress and you did the accessorizing. Um, actually, no. You dog, you're not worthy of being in this competition. Oh, gosh. Mom. I have to make a decision, and I, the hardest decision I've ever had to make. I'm totally confident in what we did. I'm a firm believer that you do something as a stylist, you make decisions, and you take responsibility for those decisions. We're on the podium, and I'm very nervous. You never know how they're gonna take your look. Hopefully the judges will be impressed. Everyone else had really simple pieces of clothing. I had this huge, thick, denim dress, and I think I did my best, and that's all I can do. Welcome back, stylist. You are competing for the coveted title of Glam God. The opportunity to be represented by a major styling agency. Artists by Timothy Priano. And a cash prize of $100,000. Say hello to my glam panel. Hello. What's up, glam hey. panel? <laughs> First up, we have Us Weekly's very own Mel Bromley. Hello, stylist. Our little British invasion. <laughs> Next up, we have our very own true glam god, Philip Block. Hello. And Doris Raymond. Hey, Doris. Hi, Doris. She's the owner of a vintage boutique called The Way We Wore. Doris will be sitting in with the glam panel as a guest judge tonight. For this week's Hot Trend Challenge, we had a blast from the past. First, I ask you to reinvent a style from the past and make it fabulous for today. Secondly, I ask you to take it from daytime to nighttime. First up, we have Pantry and Jess. I think we delivered everything we're supposed to do. I feel really confident. Let's take a look at your signature piece. Well, that was uh, 80s, hot pink. Well, let's take a look at your daytime look. When we saw that, dr that jacket, we thought it has shoulder pads, so you would assume that it was an 80s-inspired outfit. But what we saw was the Chanel suit. Mel? I love this jacket. I think um, you chose a really good piece. What did you do to the jacket to change it? We decided to take it in a little bit, but we didn't want to lose that boxy silhouette of the, the jacket. Of the so we just piece. tuck a little bit in. You made this so current, it totally works, and the proportion with the, with the uh, pencil uh, silhouette of the jeans, it all works. This is our night look. 
um, we just uh, we added a little more uh, you know chains to the necklace area and we work with the hair but we wanted to keep the 1920s wavy finger wave I think it's beautiful like I really really love it the balance is there the proportions once again are right and I, I you struck it you really got it good looks like you guys made a lot of wonderful choices this week I'm really excited for me and Handry because we might win this one Preston and Tiger Lily Let's take a look at your signature piece. Ooh, them gauchos from the 60s. <laughs> Let's take a look at your daytime look. In order to maintain the integrity of the gaucho, we took maybe two or three inches off the bottom. But to keep it funky and modern, we put extensions and gave her a long braid. Long braid. Who, who made the flower? Tiger Lily. I could have guessed that one. <laughs> expertly done and expertly executed. Got a little butt crack. Fit is one of the most important things when styling someone. You couldn't feel comfortable with that pant riding up your crack. The judges really liked our first look, except the pants are riding up the ass a little bit, giving her a little bit of a wedgie. Um, it's very modern. I would, if someone were walking down the street wearing that outfit, I would not say that's a vintage piece. Now let's look at your transition into nighttime. We cut the dress and we paired it with the chain around the waist, the headband, we just wanted to make her very special. We wanted to try something new. I would have pushed the headband back just a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah. This look could be in Vogue and it could be in Us Magazine. Kudos for you guys doing um, a wonderful job. I don't know if I'll be the winner for this challenge, but I hope so because we really worked hard on trying to keep the integrity of the piece. All right, next up we have Bo, who decided to work alone this week. Let's take a look at your signature piece. I've been wanting to reinvent this dress since I was two years old. Well, let's take a look at your daytime look. To me, this was all about making the day tonight accessible. So I wanted to create something that she could easily just change everything just in the car. As you can tell, I altered the dress a good bit. Um, I actually learned how to sew last night. I think you've lost sight of the challenge. You've just used the material and made something new and not reinvented it at all. I think the finish is horrific and I know you're not a great sewer. I know you stood up all night. It's just, it's just a mess. It doesn't look like a dress anymore and that's I think my biggest problem. All right, let's take a look at your transition into night. I mean, I literally just pushed her hair behind her ears and it just made such a huge difference. I changed the shoes to a silver wedge and I let down the dress a little bit. To me, it looks like she's gone to the loo and her dress has got caught in her knickers. The only thing, like you said, you look like you did, you took off her pants and pushed her hair back. It sucked to hear the negative criticism from the judges because I worked my fruity booty off last night. And last but not least, Chris and Indashio. Let's take a look at your signature piece. All right, we had a 70s moo moo. Well, I remember this piece because Chris was the one that told me that Diana Ross was your inspiration behind that moo moo and why you chose that. Let's take a look at your daytime look. The print is so loud and so overpowering, automatically I felt like a pattern that large may overpower the woman that's wearing it. We were thinking Miami fashionista going to the shows. Um, we added tons of bangles to the wrist. I applaud you for taking on a challenge. Um, however, to me, when I see that picture, it reminds me of a little girl going into her mother's closet and putting on all her mum's clothes at the same time. We were gonna do a little white blazer with it, but that's more my style, and Dasha wanted to make it younger and, and a little bit hipper, so he actually th threw out the idea of doing the denim jacket with it. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. We had a little difference of opinion, and Dasha, you said you didn't decide to do the white jacket? I, um, I didn't really want a jacket. And I, he was insisted on a jacket, so I thought if he had to do a jacket, it should at least be, you know, something a little bit more younger. But you really want to dress fashion forward and not fashion backwards. And this is like a prime example of fashion backwards. Well, I think that we'll agree as a team. I did the dress and you did the accessorizing. Um, actually, no. Okay, so what did you do? So I, did the, um, I did the dress. I really wasn't inspired, to be perfectly honest. Like, I've been so nervous with this whole competition that I've been really constipated, and I was been like... TMI! Yes, and I've been really depressed, and I was like, oh my God, shut up. Okay, so you guys didn't work together well as a team. All right, well, let's see if you guys did a better job at your nighttime transition. And Dasha, would you like to tell us about your nighttime vision? I mean, I have no problem with that. It's clearly Chris's vision. This is not Indashio at all. I don't want to make it too I'll explain the look if like, you want to know. Okay, so go ahead and explain the nighttime look. Hold on, baby. I don't want you guys different. to argue. It's cool. It's cool. 
I'll explain a little. All right. Um, the nighttime, she basically takes off the blazer, she adds the gold belt, she adds the gold accessories, basically to make it an easy transition to something that was chic daytime to elegant, sexy nighttime. Mel? I think the gold accessories make it even more disgusting, but I love the hair and the makeup. I think you've made that a dramatic. Was my idea. You've when Dasha, don't take credit for everything that we like, because that's not fair on your teammate. I just for the record though, like I'd like to say I didn't pick the hat, but I didn't oppose to it. So I'll take the blame for it, but I'm not gonna totally shift the credit. Like he's just saying the, the hat was awful and like he didn't pick it out. And Dasha, correct me if I'm wrong, but you were the first to say, I picked the shoes, I picked the belt. I picked out all a bunch of stuff, Philip. All that stuff that you said that. All that, that stuff that everybody was tripping floor. over. They were thrown around like it was garbage on the floor. Everybody was tripping over it. Cleanliness is... Next to godliness. Thank you very much. All right, stylist, I am going to deliberate with Doris and the glam panel, and we will let you know who has the winning look of the week. Your excuse to the loft. Thank you. And Dashio totally doesn't take any credit for anything that was on the screen, and that pisses me off. I wasn't on the show, I knocked the out of you because you are a liar, dog. You're like, really? B, you picked out the accessories, you got that dumbass hat, you picked out the sunglasses, you picked out the earrings, you picked out everything, dog. What did she tell me then? No. Because you had to have some input. You didn't do with the dress. Dog, you're a poor ass excuse for it, man. You have no respect for anybody in this house. You deserve to go home. Don't be mad, Chris. You, it was your idea. You took control of everything else. Shut up, man. Shut up. If I go home tonight, I will be devastated. This is like my dream. I just can't believe like I'm in this situation right now. It wasn't my idea, I wasn't inspired. Going down there and everybody starting to bicker like that is not smart. But I don't want to seem like, uh, you know, I throw him under the bus or whatever. Did it seem like that? Just only because you seem you fine working together. You were saying you were bored. You don't talk bad about your teammate when you're up there. I start thinking, do I take some responsibility for this? It's eating away at me. I didn't even know any of this was a problem. I mean, he's pathetic. He's going to ride the coattails to the end. I was under the impression that they were working so well together. I am so disappointed with Indashio. He has a better character, and I don't know why he's doing this. <laughs> I've been working so, so hard these past years to get where I am today. Being a teenager, you know, I was a juvenile delinquent, you know, I wanted this for so, so long, and I've sacrificed so much for this. And... Where you at, you Oh, gosh. <laughs> Fashion saved my life because before, like I said, I was lost, and I didn't know where I was going. I... I was suicidal, like I wanted to kill myself every day because I just hated my life and I hated myself. And fashion gave me a reason to live, like. <sighs> Coming up. I wanted to come clean to the panel. You gotta stop wearing your heart on your sleeve. Tonight, I have to eliminate two. Two people are going home tonight. I'm freaking out inside. Keep reaching for the stars because you're just not ready to style them. Let's start off with um, Handry and Jess. I loved this. I thought that they took something very old and made it extremely modern. This is the way I love to see people wear vintage. I always love when the stylists listen to the clues. And there is a definite difference of the daytime look and the nighttime look. Okay, next up, let's discuss Preston and Tiger Lilies. Mel. I think this is another success story. They took something and they gave it a modern flair and it looks beautiful. Tiger Lily definitely has something. Her, her touch is feminine. She loves the bow, she loves the ruffle, she loves the flower. Definitely a sister with that sex in the city edge. Next up, we have Bo. He didn't listen. He took a vintage item and he just used the fabric to make really a completely did. different dress. I think he's a little bit over his head. This was about styling, and Bo decided that he wanted to sew more than anything. And he honestly could have kept his vest, turned the skirt into maybe something straight, could have added a hat at night, funky boots, still maintain the integrity of, of the look. Last but not least, we have Indacio and Chris.
and they had the moo-moo that was a boo-boo. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and I have to start this one off because you know what? I really like Christopher and when he told me that Dinah Ross was his inspiration for picking this look, this dress looks nothing like Diana Ross from the era of the 70s. Once again, they didn't maintain the integrity of, of the look. I think they were temporarily blinded by the brightness of the dress because they styled this with their eyes closed. The gold belt looks disgusting and somebody needs to be held responsible for that mess. Again, I just think they overthought, they overdid. I mean, these pieces just do not work together. And I just have to say, I'm just disappointed in my boys. They seem to work well together, but when they got down here, it just seemed to fall apart. That's sad because it was a team challenge. All right, you guys, for the winning look of the week, I'm gonna leave it up to the glam gods to help me find which one I will choose as a winner. Thank you guys for your deliberations. Your help on this something. I have to make a decision, and I the hardest decision I've ever had to make. I'll be disappointed if I go home tonight because I feel like I represent what the competition is about, and some people don't have what it takes yet to be in that celebrity style's position. God gives me the strength. I have prayed for it every day. I ask for the strength every day. I'm like, God, please guide me today. How's everyone doing? Good. 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 Well, I heard good from everyone but one. I'm constipated, boo-boo. I know it's been a rough time. <laughs> Tell me what's going on. I have pride, and I wanted to come clean to the panel and let you guys know that this was a, a group collaboration. I did pick out the belt, as well as the shoes and the bag but you didn't feel like it was a team effort. Okay. Your hot trend challenge this week was to reinvent a signature piece from the past. Some of those styles that we picked out for you guys were D-O-A, honey. They were dead on arrival. I can only pick one winning look of the week. The winning look of the week is Handry and Jess. Yes. <laughs> I won the challenge and I delivered everything I could possibly do. I think that we did a great job. Thank you. However, we have a first this week. There was a tie. The second winning look of the week goes to Tiger Lily and Preston. Thank you. Stylists, it is now time for us to give our vintage expert a round of applause for joining Glam God this week. Girlfriend, Thanks I'm gonna see you because I'm gonna get that sale now. <laughs> Good luck, you guys. All right, my two winners. With great success comes a great reward, and your reward is waiting on you upstairs. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. The other contestants better watch out. That's just like one of many. You know, I am the next glam god. Congratulations, winners, for making a timeless piece. Wow, <gasps> it's like this huge watch. Did I not say I wanted to watch the other all day? This is just crazy. Diamonds. All right, you guys. As you know, it was up to me to eliminate someone. However, I have to eliminate two. Two people are going home tonight. I'm freaking out inside right now. Mel, I'm going to ask you first to comment on Bo's look. Bo, I um, think you have so much potential but I don't think you listened. And that's dangerous because if that had been a client, then you would have really mucked up. Bo, I just think you're adorable. That sweet Southern charm, you definitely have something and I just think you need some time. Bo, my Southern belle, we want you to keep reaching for the stars. However, you're just not ready to style them. You are eliminated. Okay. Obviously, I'm upset. I made a mistake. The most important advice that I could give is to really listen to the clues. I don't know how to make a dress, and I tried to make a dress. So keep it simple, follow your instincts. Okay, Mel, um, now we want you to comment on Indacio's and Chris's look. You overstyled, which is 
even more dangerous really than understyling. It just looks like a mess. First of all, in, in Dasho, that belt, ooh, thank you for owning up to it because as we talked about, integrity is so important. You remind me so much of myself, the over-the-top hyperness, and I just see it, you're so eager, and you gotta stop wearing your heart on your sleeve. I do it all the time, but I never, never, never do it in front of my clients. Chris, you did a great job in sewing that dress and making it look like a great outfit, but you weren't paying attention. Chris, you had a starting point, which was Diana Ross, who is one of my favorite all-time divas and you chose an era for her to be on stage. This was a wonderful time for you to work outside of what's safe for you, which is always going and creating silhouettes. You could have taken that look and made it flowy for daytime, but you went to your comfort zone. Can I explain a bit though? Nope. Yes. It's time to listen, okay? You also went to your comfort zone when you saw that the dress was wrong with the split up the back, which would have got your celebrity client in a lot of trouble. And because of those mistakes, I want you to keep reaching for the stars because you're just not ready to style them. You've got another bright future, my friend. Thank you. But tonight, you're eliminated. Thank you. I wish you the best, my brother. Thank you, baby. It is an injustice. I mean, I think I've proven myself. I think that I've taken everything the judges said into consideration, and I've showed that in my work throughout this competition. And Dasha gave this whole spiel about how he didn't have any input, which was a total lie, and he's fake. I think real recognized real, and Dasha was looking real unfamiliar in the house. Come on, baby, you gotta stand up. Uh-uh. Man up. You're still here. The reason why we've chosen you to stay here is that we believe you've also got a bright future. I appreciate you manning up and saying that you made the wrong choices. So, and Dashio? You've lived to style another day. Your excuse to the law. Thank you so much. Walk out as a man. I am so grateful to get another chance. And if you get to really know me, I'm a great person. And so that's why, you know, I hope everyone gets a chance to really find out and know who I am, because I'm a good person. Next time on Glam God. Your hot trend challenge is about fusing together the look of a Hollywood it couple. You guys are going to use star stand-ins. The star stand-ins walk up and they could not be more opposite. I mean, some crazy looks. Everyone is on pins and needles. This is our first individual challenge. We're nervous as hell. I would love to officially announce that I am declaring war on all of you, especially Jess. I've had your back from the get-go, dude, and to hear this is some bull So guess what? I'm declaring war on you. Me against the world, baby. Me against the world. What up? It's your boy, Adachio. I'm Stacy Cox. Hey, it's Bo. For more outrageous glam moments, check out goglam.beach1.com. I love. Oh, don't do that to Bo, Bo. Are you going to corner a drunk, really, right now? I bet you could French red a hair in a second. Yep. I used to corner all my friends' hair in the PJs. If I was in trunk, I would be a lot better. More! Where'd that bottle go on? It, we finished it. More? We finished it. Where's my assistant? 